Hey everybody, welcome to your monthly Twin Flame reading. This is for September 2020. We're going to peek into DF's energy for the month. Let's see a story with a nine card spread and go from there. And I'm gonna grab you some romance angels as well. Let's go from there. Right, nine cards. Can I see nine cards for my divine feminine twin flame energy effective? Let's see. Right now, what about For my divine family. Was their story? The story that I got. I've seen you recently gone through a change after an embarrassing moment like that. It's a change you feel like was necessary. It was a tower moment. You see things brighter and clearer. You've gone inside and done the work when it comes to making this change. To take yourself out of the cold. From these deep emotions you have for your Divine Masculine. It seems that you've recently had some communication where you've discussed where you felt broken. Where you felt abandoned. Where this may have been toxic. You may see some red flags there later on as well towards the end however i'm seeing you discuss what hurt you in the first place and i'm seeing that open communication is starting to make changes calling in your soulmate two more cards codependency the dm got this this month as well and free yourself and that's what you've done your tower moment was freeing yourself rather than telling you that she is my story as a dm the dm resonate and take another card Separation. There may be separation on the horizon. Time apart from your partner may be on the horizon. I'm going to clarify these. Alright. Calling in your soulmate codependency for yourself and separation. Okay. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I'm seeing you're making movements here in your personal life and discussing your details very clearly. You're holding back your love, but you're discussing what was a failure in this relationship. I'm seeing you... Find yourself after the tower moment. Let's see what that was about. Something that you felt did not match your efforts. The outcome I'm seeing you still may be confused about some things, some very obsessive thinking. I've read the Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles reverse, maybe about the money not coming through. You may feel like there's a lot of options you can go through, but you're wanting to extend your love, but you always feel single in this relationship, and that's bugging you. If you want to extend your love towards them, but you always keep getting um, Three of Swords here. And it ends up having you will always walk away, make some kind of manifestation toward a future, but you're really manifesting the love as you're leveling up here. Clarify Codependency. Why is Codependency there? Codependency in the double deck. Queen of Wands Upright. Maybe um, someone is starting to realize they're too good for this situation, and that's bringing the Codependency in, up to light. Clarify the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands there? Strength. Somebody is... Taking care of not being able to control their creative energy. I think they're putting an end to desiring all the sex that was associated. The sex and the emotions that was associated with longing this relationship. And I'm seeing someone be open to learning about the new way they want to do things. I'm seeing they... Both people are still trying to manifest this commitment. But they're going through torture to do it. Is what I'm really feeling. And finances may be an issue of concern. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles reverse. The world reverse. Things are stuck right now concerning your D concerning the DF. But this um I'm saying DF is still also holding back some details about how they can make this commitment happen. Um they're hiding their love and they're hiding some kind of secrets, financial secret. Clarify free yourself. Why is free yourself here? You may have found out some information. Why is free yourself there? Why is free yourself there? Four of Wands reverse. I'm seeing that you saw that it wasn't as a good fit as you thought and you feel like it was a missed opportunity. It could just be toxic. Started to feel like the only way to break, unbreak your heart was to move on, go far away from the situation. I'm seeing that... Um, you're tired of sticking around when you learn so much about what had happened. But there's a big piece you still wants to give it another try, no matter how what went through with it, because you want forward movement. You still feel 
your feelings for the situation are the truth. But the truth is, it's also it's making you unstable, right? It's giving you anxiety about um, if they've let go of it or not. Or if they're planning to help you out of the sadness. Clarify the separation part. I'm saying if, if there was a separation, yeah, separation and then it turned spun around. So, all right. There may have been recently a separation, but after seven or eight days, I'm seeing maybe... Eight, after eight days, I'm seeing there was some communication after some stalking. People, both people feel like they lost without each other and they want a new start. But there's still juggling going on here. And manipulation. Clarify the page of pentacles. The hierarchy. Someone wants to offer marriage or someone did that already. Page of Pentacles, Hierophant, Six of Cups. Someone is trying to really think about this. They may have mixed emotions about it. No hope about it going forward. The moon upright. Someone is feeling like it's crazy, unfair because one per it was very uneven. The energy exchange was uneven. And there's two. This could be a same-sex relationship as well. It's like, or maybe you're a DF that's a guy and they're a DM that's a girl. So what it's looking like is like... King of Wands, King of Swords. Someone is just being um, quick to decide. Someone's getting emotional. Clarify, King of Swords. Someone's being... Okay, clarify King of Wands. The King of Wands is being kind of emotional about all the things they lost when it came to this decision. And the King of Swords character is being kind of balanced. Like, balanced going towards the future slowly after a lot of pain they still remain hopeful uh for the practical side of the situation to be better but it doesn't seem like they feel their emotional fulfillment will be in the situation if i find the two of cups reverse they feel like there's some emotional or manipulation concerning love going on in this but they can't deny that the ds makes them happy um is what i'm seeing the person can't deny that there's happiness to be found here. But they're maybe not giving it a romantic chance. Why are they not doing that? Seven of Swords. Reverse Nine of Pentacles upright. Page of Wands and the Ten of Swords. I'm seeing maybe they're scared of it becoming a really... They're scared of it becoming a third party situation. Or they're scared of being played. They're scared of... Uh, not being single anymore. They have commitment issues. Clarify that. Why do they have that? They're scared of... You getting bored of them. Like, you're scared of the DF getting bored. What can my DF expect? The month of September, two cards. You can expect this decision to still be one that bothers you. It's going to take a while to get off the ground. I'm seeing that maybe when you hold, like, let go of these control issues, you know. Let go of being scared you'll lose it. Let go of not being yourself. Let go of needing to please the other side. I'm seeing the DF will get better at this stuff. I'm seeing right now they should not rush into a decision. A decision will happen. A choice will happen. Things will reveal itself. There will be judgment here. Uh, but it's only going to happen. Things are going to start growing when you stop suffocating it with what you want to happen. Like trying to over assess or assume the result. She just let it happen as a coming. And I'm seeing you may get to some balance after um, an emotional piece. After you let the cog turn on its own timing. Alright guys, that's the reading today. If you guys want to book a personal reading, you can do that. Check the information in the description box below. I'll see you on the next one. Love you.